Hey. hey Geminis, welcome to your December love reading. If this is your first time here, my name is Laura and I'm from babycurltarot.com. I am a tarot and oracle reader as well as a root worker and I do monthly, mid-monthly, and occasional pick a cards here on YouTube. Keep in mind if this is your first time that this is a general collective reading and not all messages will resonate for every single Gemini out there. Um, if for some reason this message ends up not resonating today, I do offer personal one-on-one -on -one readings in case you have questions about a current romantic relationship. Um, and you can link up with me through my website, which is below in the description box. With all that in mind, let's go ahead and jump right on into your reading. And we're gonna start off with the archetype cards to get a little bit more information about your potential person um, and just get general uh, messages from spirit. Uh, spirit, what messages do you have for my Geminis regarding uh, their potential person? Wow, I'm really struggling to talk today. <laughs> all right, let's take a look. Wow, okay, so we have the Messiah card and it came up in the upright, which is gonna be the light attribute. And it says serving humanity with humility. Okay, so we have someone who likes to serve their community, possibly here. That's beautiful. Let's go ahead and get into these tarot cards. I'm using the African tarot this month. Spirit O messages do you have for my Geminis surrounding them and their potential person? All right, we have the four of wands reversed. And the King of Swords, and at the bottom of the deck, let's take a look. We have the Nine of Swords reversed. All right, let's take a look here. Let's see what's going on. All right, Gemini, so your person seems to either have come from a place of turmoil or lack or just general stress. Um, and he or she or they use that experience or those experiences to help others who are also experiencing the same things. Um, this person is very, 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 very smart and they use their intellect to help solve issues within their community, with other people um, that they either know personally or work with personally as well. Um, this person I feel like is really tapped into... Alright Geminis, I do apologize for the noise, there's some construction going on in my complex. Let me get back to this message though for you guys. So back to your person, it feels like this person concentrates on situations that involve the home with the Four of Wands in reverse. Maybe they came from a home that was not stable or peaceful and they also look out for others who go through similar situations. Maybe they're a mentor to young kids in their communities who go through unstable housing situations and things like that. Uh, maybe they are a counselor or they work with um, youth or even adults that are trying to transition into different spaces, recovery, things like that nature. I hope that's making sense. But whoever this person is, it seems like they are a wonderful person, a very intelligent person, and they've really turned their past into something useful and um, great for people around them as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the situation between you two a little bit more. Spirit, can you tell us a little bit more about this connection between Geminis and their potential person? What's it like? What are they experiencing? We have the Page of Swords reversed. The Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Wands reversed at the bottom of the deck. All right, Geminis, you may have met this person when you were going through a little bit of a tough start to something new. Um, maybe you were trying to, I don't know, move or start a new career or maybe go back to school or something of that nature with the two of wands reversed it feels like you were in a place where you wanted to start something new but you were having trouble finding either the motivation or um, the information or the means of getting it done um, the way that you wanted to see it done 
And on top of that, it also feels like there are a couple of things that you have on your plate. Maybe you're working and going back to school. Maybe you're raising children by yourself and going back to school or working and raising children and going back to school. Um, maybe you're working a couple different jobs to get through what it is that you need to do. Um, and this person met you around this time where it feels like you were struggling a little bit mentally, energetically speaking, trying to keep everything together. Um, I do feel like this person is kind of a source of peace and support for you because they do understand the challenges that come with, you know, having to juggle so many things at one time. Let me go ahead and move all these cards over so they're in, in frame. Excuse me. It's my OCD kicking in. <laughs> Um, but it feels like this person came in around a time where you were trying to do something new and juggle a bunch of other things at the same time. It felt like you were just really struggling with how to make everything come together and happen for you. And like I said, this person seems like, like a breath of fresh air and like they just kind of take all the weight of your struggles and the world off of your shoulders a little bit, which is super beautiful. Of course, it doesn't solve everything, but it definitely helps to know that you have someone in your corner that also does um, really beautiful things for other people, not just you, um, around and kind of giving you that energy that you need um, to get done what you need to get done. Absolutely beautiful. All right, let's dive into what the possible outcome is to this relationship. I'd really like to see where this is going. So far, it just feels like a really beautiful energy. Maybe you guys have just started dating. It feels like, I don't know if this person has been around for very long, but it does feel somewhere in the newish phase. Okay, so take what resonates. Um, but let's see what this possible outcome looks like here. Spirit, what messages do you have in terms of an outcome? for Gemini and their potential person. What messages do you have for my Geminis regarding them and their potential person? Let's see, we got the Fool card in reverse. We got the Death card. And we have the Six of Cups reversed with the Seven of Pentacles reversed at the bottom of the deck. All right, let's take a look. Gemini's, this is a little bit of a more interesting outcome than I was expecting. I'm going to be really upfront and honest with you. I don't know if this person is meant to be with you forever. Or this is like your forever person. However, what I do see is that this person is here in your life right now to kind of help you transition through... Um, some part of your journey here, especially with the death card talks about endings. So like I said here, when you were starting something new, for some of you guys, maybe you were transitioning from one relationship to a different part of your life. Maybe this was a longer relationship that you had in the past and you are breaking free from that and starting fresh. Um, this person does feel like they're going to be a really, really great source of guidance and support and love and care however i am getting a feeling that i'm just not sure if this person is going to be around for the long term um in whatever way that that ends up being i'm not really seeing a particular reason as to why it doesn't stay forever um but it does feel like this is just like a temporary intermediary period for you and spirit has sent them to you to help you through this. As you know with the Fool card, the Fool card usually talks about starting something new or the new phase of a journey. And as you are here at the Fool stage um, and moving on through the 13th card of the Death card, um, they're helping you kind of get through the realities of your new situation, the struggles of it, and releasing some of these older either notions or relationships that you have kind of accumulated up to this point and help you release them so you can truly break free and move forward into this new part of your journey. It feels like what you have invested in up to this point or previously before you got into this part of the journey had worked 
up to a certain point, which would be now when you're seeing this reading. Um, but now those old ideals, those old thoughts, behaviors, patterns, people, things like that are no longer needed in your life. And Spirit understands that this is going to be a painful process for you. So I believe that they sent this person to be in your life, excuse me, particularly to help you through this change. Okay. So what I would say to you, my Geminis, is really enjoy this period in time. Enjoy this person's presence. I know it's not easy to hear that someone we really care for and appreciate won't be in our lives forever, but sometimes that is just the way life works. Again, I'm not really seeing a reason as to why this person will end up be move, uh, will end up um, moving out of your life or being removed from your life, but I do see that happening here. Don't take it personally. Our lives are always changing and new chapters are always forming. So I'm not saying that there is you know, no hope out there for you to find your forever person, I would just say don't be surprised if this person later on down the line ends up not being the one that you thought you were going to end up with, okay? But I would say that cherish, I would say to cherish this person and this energy for right now because it does feel like it's a beautiful energy that's going to really help you um, become the person eventually that you will be becoming, all right? Let's go ahead and move on to the final deck of the reading, which is the Moonology Manifestation Oracle, to get the final messages Spirit has for you. Spirit, what final messages do you have for my Geminis regarding this romantic connection? New Moon and Cancer, relax. Just let it go. The more resistant you are to change, the harder it is, okay? So just take it a day at a time. Don't push yourself or overexert yourself to have everything figured out, have everything together in its place um, immediately. Everything will take time. Um, so just do your best and try to relax as much as possible and let these changes happen. We also have the first quarter moon in Gemini. Speak your world into being. Manifest what you want to see happen in your life. Uh, manifest that ease, that grace, that love, that gentleness, that success, that prosperity. Let the universe know what it is that you're looking for, what you want out of life, whether that is a healthy, happy relationship, a healthy, happy home, children, so on and so forth, education, opportunities, all of that. You speak it into existence. They will hear you, they'll listen, and they will align your journey with what it is that you're looking for. All right, my Geminis, please leave a like and a comment if this resonated for you. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Again, if this message did not resonate for you, I do offer personal one-on-one -on -one readings, and you can link up with me through my website, which is below in the description box. If you want to follow me on my other socials like Instagram and TikTok, the info is below as well. Um, as always, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a beautiful December and I hope to see you next time. Bye!